getting Hello everyone, r, &B r &B here. here. So today we are going to do something very, I would say, interesting. Actually, I'll probably be dead by the end of it and Ricardo will be laughing at me. But um, I consider myself someone very fit. I try to work out every single day, but I don't actually know how fit I am. So I decided to attempt the US Navy preparedness test. I think it consists in um, three exercises. So one will be a push-up challenge, the other one is a plank, so elbow plank challenge, and then the other one will be a 1.5 mile run. So that is equivalent at 2.4 um, kilometers. So we are going to do that now. Today Ricardo will be my instructor. Um, they have, um, I would say, it's like a bracket from outstanding to average or if you passed or not with some minimums, but we'll go over that later. So now there's only one thing to do, which is getting prepared, guys. So I'm ready to go. The first test is gonna be push-ups. Bianca has two minutes to do as many push-ups as she can. According to the table from the Navy SEALs preparedness test, she has to do at least 11 to be at the probatory stage and she can do up to 44 to be in the outstanding high levels stage. So now I'm going to show how you do a push-up. So the idea is always you have your hands either underneath your, your shoulders or a little bit wider than your shoulders as you do the push-up. And feet, you can put them together or apart just to give a little more stability. And the goal here is as you come down, your arms have to be at least 90 degree angle and up. You don't need to touch with your chest on the floor. You just need 90 degree angles on your elbows. And then you push it back up and that's one count. So you go down, 90 degree angle, back up, down, up. And the goal here is just to keep your core stable, your butt tight. So as you go down and up, you don't break that plank position. The only position that if she wants to, within the two minutes, if she wants to rest, she has to put in the starting position, which is in this position she can rest. Although in this position it's gonna be a lot harder. So since we don't have a chronometer, um, we're gonna use our phones to, to record the times. Uh, and now I'm gonna count down. You ready, Bianca? Yeah, I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, thirty seconds in, eighteen, nineteen. 21 22 50 seconds 23 24 25 You can rest a bit longer if you want, you have one minute left Five, six, six. <laughs> twenty-seven, <laughs> okay, twenty-seven, oh my God. twenty-seven push-ups is not too bad, I think, oh. if the maximum is forty-four, I don't think 27 push-ups is too bad, is it? Uh, in terms of performance, it's a good medium. It's between good medium and good high, because oh. it's between 24 and 28. It's just good, not even excellent? Nope. Excellent would be 35. Really? 
Really? Yeah. No way I could do 35. <laughs> so how long do I have to rest until the next yeah. one? So now Bianca has 5 to, to 15 minutes of rest in between each of the tests. So however long she wants to rest, she feels like resting. Uh, she has between 5 and 15 minutes. I think I'll do 15 minutes. <laughs> so. So the next uh, challenge that Bianca is going to do is the plank challenge and in this challenge she has to hold for as long as she can. The top score is 3 minutes and 25 seconds and to be in the probatory score she has to do 55 seconds of a plank. So the plank is pretty much the same setup as you would with the push-up but instead of having your arms out you're going to be on your forearms. The setup is the same in terms of uh, core, in terms of the legs and your butt, everything's going to be tight. You can either have palms on the, f on the floor or fists and you can put your hands inward but one thing you cannot do is grab your hands like this so always either fists or palms and you hold it for as long as you can remember keeping that the core tight but tight just keep that stability out so you get two warnings if your form breaks but the time is automatically stopped if if there's more than four points of contact on the floor forearms and your feet so if your knees touch on the floor if your belly touches on the floor the timer automatically starts so Bianca is rested somewhat she rested for eight minutes are you ready okay so I think I'm rested or I've rested enough to do this so I think I'll be good to go and I'll beat the 3.25 three minutes or 25 okay, seconds so let's go yes. you ready three two one go Remember to keep that core tight all the time just to keep that stability. Elbows always underneath your shoulders. If it gets too hard, Bianca can widen the stance a little bit more on, on her feet. Just to make it a little bit easier. 35 seconds in. Less than 3 minutes from your goal. And we have reached a minute. You passed the probatory stage. Well done. She started to shake a little bit. Two minutes left for, for your goal. How are you feeling? Tired. Are you regretting resting less than 15 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> Two minutes. You have one minute and 25 left from your goal. minutes 25 one minute left you can do it 35 seconds left you're in the excellent low range now. 25 seconds, just hold it. Fifteen seconds. Hold it. You're holding it. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. 
six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Ooh, she did it. Three twenty-five. <laughs> I don't even know how I done this one. <laughs> so she scored an outstanding high. I'm. How does it feel being outstand outstandingly levelly high? I feel outstandingly tired and my elbows are hurting so much because we decided to do here this is kind of like a wood concrete type of thing and my elbows now have those dents on them so yeah it doesn't feel great though no you have you, you have another 5 to 15 minute rest yeah 15 and then minute for sure. we do a run okay. so 15 minute rest counting now <sighs> So the last challenge is a running challenge. Bianca has to do 1.5 miles, which is 2.4 kilometers for those who are not in, in the USA. Uh, for her to pass, she needs to do the six laps in 60 minutes and 45 seconds. To get the highest score, she has to do it in 10 minutes and 46 seconds. So I'm shooting for the 10 minutes and 46 <laughs> seconds. So during this challenge, she could either run or walk. As long as she doesn't do the six laps over 16 minutes and 45, she's gonna have a pass. So Bianca is in the starting position. Are you ready, Bianca? I'm ready to go. In three, two, one, go. So I'm not gonna film part of the of the run because there's a lot of kids around. The Japanese schools here and like with smaller kids they usually take them to parks we, I think we probably said it in a, in a video before so and when she comes around I'll try to record a little bit more I think she's doing pretty well she's 20 seconds in there she is our little runner she's doing pretty well like a minute a, a lap would be great if she did the six laps in one minute each. Doing good. One minute zero five. She actually does um, a minute a lap or around that. She's gonna beat that time by a lot. I think she's slowing down now. <laughs> she's starting the last 200 for the second lap and still she has four laps to go 2 minutes 41 just slowing down a bit <laughs> okay, she's 3 minutes in uh, fairly good pace if she wants to get the highest score she has to get at least 10 minutes and 46 seconds it's gonna be a little bit hard, she has to step it up a bit. But at least I think she can do it for 12, 12 minutes, which corresponds to an outstanding low level. That would be the ideal, I think that's what she was aiming for. There she is. Three laps left. You go, girl. You go, girl. She's at the moment five minutes in. I think she's doing a good pace. I think the 12 minutes is possible. It would be possible if she went back to do one minute uh, a lap, but I think 12 min minutes is more realistic. Good job. Two more to go. Six minutes in. I think it's doing a really good pace, to be honest. She's probably gonna do under 12 minutes. If she keeps this pace up, I think it's pretty possible. If she does 11.45, she'll get an outstanding medium. But it would be an awesome score for her. She would be really, really surprised. Bye, Vanessa. How long? Uh, 7.34. Bye, Vanessa. 
last 200. She's 8 minutes and 34. She's coming around the bend. Sprinting like a mad woman. Actually, she is. <laughs> I was just joking, though. Excuse me, miss. Excuse me, miss. Flash interview. Flash interview. How are you yeah. feeling? How are you feeling? Completely. Completely dead. <laughs> How well do you think you, you did? I think I've done like... Oh, really dizzy. Um, 11 minutes. Something like that. Woo! I've done it in 9 minutes and 12 seconds. Yep. What is that on the scale now? It's above the outstanding high, so you beat the... Did the I beat the chart? Yeah. Oh my god. I thought for a moment you wouldn't, because you slowed down a bit from the second lap. I know, but I was able lap. to then yeah. keep the pace. So, I think it was actually pretty good. Yep. So I think I'm ready to do the You're ready Navy, to go to the Navy. preparedness test. Uh, the only one that I probably need to work a little bit more, guys, is the push-ups. But... I'm happy with what I've done today. Let's just say that Ricardo is a good instructor. He was not too harsh on me. So I'm feeling ready. So I think after we finish here in Japan, I think I'm going to go to the United States and, and do the and US the Navy. Navy preparedness test and join the Navy. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Uh, guys, I think we're ready to finish this vlog over here. Wait a minute. We forgot to tell you something, so that's why we are here now, um, already at home, as you guys may see. So we told you the score that I had for each test, yeah. but not the overall score. So the overall score is an average of all the tests that I've done. So uh, those three tests, the push-ups, the elbow plank, and then the 1.5 mile run. So my average can change um, regarding the um, score that I had on the push-up challenge because I did 27 push-ups which is between a good high um, which has the number of 28 and a good medium. medium which is a 24 so between those two numbers we don't have anything having a hundred on the um, elbow plank and then a hundred on the 1.5 mile run and if we push my score from the push-ups up to the 28 which is a good height I would be on the 90 percentile which means that my average is on that um, 10 percentile of um, outstanding outstanding so would be outstanding low is it case, yeah. outstanding low now that we gave you that information we're going to go back to the field and yeah. end of the video yeah I hope you guys enjoy I think I am fit enough so now I think now I have uh, proof yeah, I have proof of that now, so I think I can do anything. It's pretty much I'm on top of the world kind of thing. Um, no, I'm just kidding. But um, these three tests that I've done today, way harder than I thought. I thought it would be easy peasy for all of them, including the 44 um, push-ups in two minutes. But um, as you guys saw, it was not that easy. So I'm definitely feeling old today. I think I'm going home, have a shower, take a nap, and just come up next week for the new video so it's kind of like hibernate for a week <laughs> that's it so as always leave it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to receive new notifications that's when we release it, guys. new videos we'll see you next see week ya. bye